What is up, you little weirdos? Welcome back to my crypto journey. And uh, this is an interesting post from BitBoy. He made 30 minutes ago, and it looks like he's kind of deflecting or shifting some blame onto the other Ben, which may be one person or multiple people now. Like, I don't know if this is one person running this count or multiple because BitBoy tweeted something earlier. We'll get into that here in a second. But we got to talk about this tweet because I'm getting real scammy vibes. Not saying that any of this is a scam, but I'm getting those kind of small cap shady dev shit coin kind of vibes that's what i'm getting right now i have to say for ben i think he needs to really look out for his brand promoting all these tokens and especially having somebody like this guy or these people at the helm you know being your master marketers and and and, and stuff like that now kudos to ben and ben eth for you know bringing some excitement back into the cryptocurrency market when there's really nothing going on but they can't keep doing these things that just seem and look so shady and like i said i mean what do i know i'm a small youtuber what do i know about anything right bitboy is a successful youtuber been on the platform forever you know but he's had a, sh a fair share of controversies and he's kind of done a lot to get over those uh, past demons and i feel like he's slipping back into something that could absolutely wreck him because coffeezilla has been mia for a while but this is something that would probably you know put a light of fire under his ass and get him back on youtube okay so ben tweeted this i told you this weekend was going to be hard i'm not going to comment on the other situation other ben can do that Hopefully, it will get cleared up. So he's saying other men can handle that situation. He says, loyal announcement video tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All questions will be answered, and Ben coin holders will finally understand. So BitBoy is going to be making a video at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time tonight. And the presale does close for uh, loyal at 11:59 pst tonight so keep that in mind if you want to get in i'm sitting this one out you can it's already raised 20 million dollars after the psyop one raised seven million dollars okay so what's the issue so check this out i guess this ben right this ben.eth tweeted something about another token called finale right so ben armstrong says hey man delete this bro finale was set up by one of the devs slash social media people on ben's team without his permission all the money was refunded so this ben person is probably not one person maybe they're multiple people pretty much maybe promoting a token or something like that but check this out right this person makes a video now how true this video is i don't know right uh he dms the actual ben.eth you could tell that's the same amount of tweets same amount of uh, followers and stuff like that and um I guess the whole uh, freaking uh, you know finale thing, they're saying it's not a scan, it's a psyop. Here's the crazy thing to me. Here's the crazy thing to me. It's like when this when this guy does anything wrong or anything goes wrong, it's a psyop. Like it, if it goes wrong, it's it's a psyop. We did it so people uh, could pay attention to us more. We're an attention economy token or whatever the hell they call it, right? It's like it's it's like oh, not my fault, bro. It's all a psyop. That's where I feel like we're at at this point. So this Ben.eth guy isn't one guy. It's multiple people. Now I know they have to have multiple people to launch a cryptocurrency, but to run the Twitter account. That's kind of weird to me because this guy is super unhinged. Now, a lot of people think that this is all just BitBoy's team and that this is just another way for him to market some tokens and to make money. But when you look at Ben Token's actual use case, it's actually not that bad. It's about crypto mass adoption, crypto education. I mean, those are kind of, uh, you know, uh, things that other shit coins have used to launch a project and, and never, you know, none of that ever really developed. But that's an angle that a lot of, you know, cryptocurrencies take. And this is the first time I saw a big, uh, community token take that angle and of course bitboy crypto is spearheading it right so the tokens in their ecosystem are ben psyop loyal right and there's this finale one that i guess someone posted people bought and those sorts of things now all the money it was refunded so if you lost money buying this or something bad happened you're getting your money refunded but here's the thing how many times can you make a mistake and then say, oh, we're going to fix it? Because look it, there was a, a huge error in the presale for $7 million last time PSYOP launched, right? Which is a week and a half ago, right? Now people are trusting because we're degenerates. These same people with $20 million this time, and hopefully, you know, it doesn't go as bad as the last one because the last round of people didn't get their airdrops until after. Now, if you didn't sell any of your airdrops or you got the wrong amount, because not a lot of people got the correct amount, 
right? You were airdropped tokens and then some, but you had to hold them. And I'm sure a lot of people freaked out and dumped them. There was a lot of people upon launch who bought into the wrong liquidity pools. So it was all sorts of errors where people were getting four tokens, spending like 20K, crazy stuff like that because I covered this story and I was live for some of it. So a lot of errors with the last launch. And now this one, I mean, it seems like there's some blame uh, being thrown at the other Ben.eth Twitter or maybe the all the people running their Twitter page. Either way, it feels weird. I don't know. I'm going to be here to watch it. Now, I don't know what time the token is going to be launching. I don't think they've made that clear. I read before that they were going to be... Um, launching it today which is monday but then i also there was a tweet uh jake gagan went ahead and retweeted that you know they said that loyal closes tomorrow at monday 11 59 p.m pst so approximately 10 hour 10 or so hours from now you know it's gonna be very very interesting to see this it, it could be a huge catastrophe but i want to end on this bitboy crypto man like you've done so much the last year to like clear your name up like i thought the whole sbf thing was fucking corny and cheesy i thought that was lame i thought you pretending to be like the savior of crypto was corny right you with that chick at the miami uh you know crypto or nft convention and you calling her uh you know an arpist and a murderer because she called you out on some scams which we all promote tokens that never uh that haven't you know that that don't do well we all promote them and and we look like you know scammers or whatever so we've i've been there done i got the t-shirt too you know you suing a toesy because he said mean things to you like all those things that people forgot about like dude don't wreck yourself with because of these tokens you know look at if this ecosystem becomes a strong ecosystem in the future fine great we did it but it seems just super scammy it seems really lame i'm not saying they're scamming us but i get that vibe from them you know so i'm not sure how close ben is with the ben east dot guy but let me tell you something it's not it's looking a little weird to me anyways let me know what you think in the comments down below i'm interested to hear your opinion thank you so much for watching and i will talk to you very very soon peace